Hi, welcome to A Daily Word. I'm John Van Dyne. A Daily Word is a brief devotional based on one or two verses of Scripture, and it's intended to encourage you in your daily journey with Jesus. Today's A Daily Word is from Psalm 1. Are you an observant person? Psalm 1 makes an observation about people and shows us that our choices lead to two outcomes in life two very different outcomes. It begins, How blessed is the one who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. The person who is blessed, or we could say happy, or content in life, is identified first by what he avoids. To walk in the counsel of the wicked, to stand in the path of sinners, to sit in the seat of scoffers are things to be avoided. The psalmist is not listing things of increasing degrees of evil. Rather, these things embody the routines of life. We walk, we sit, we stand. We could identify in those things our culture, our convictions, our commitments. What most profoundly affects and shapes your life? We tend to associate with like-minded people. Now, you might object, I don't associate with wicked people or with sinners. The psalmist isn't making a list of specific sins and degrees of sins here. Rather, he is just giving examples of life that is lived in opposition to God. We don't want to live in opposition to God. But we are vulnerable to scoffing. We might avoid wickedness if we recognize it. We might avoid sin, specific sins, if we recognize them. But scoffing is kind of a, almost a national pastime. Scoffing is a dismissive, critical attitude toward another person. When we speak in a derogatory way about another person's beliefs or comments, we devalue the worth of that one made in the image of God. The psalmist goes on and says, The blessed person, his delight or her delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law that person meditates day and night. His delight is in the law of the Lord. What shows the things in which we delight? How do we know those things? Well, the psalmist says, In his law he meditates day and night. We either absorb the values and attitudes of others, whether it's through news or culture or co-workers, or we observe God's values from his word. The psalmist then gives a beautiful picture of what this life is like when we meditate day and night in his word. That person will be like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In whatever he does, he prospers. Picture a mature oak tree or a majestic 60-foot fir tree. Depending on weather and other environmental conditions, a mature tree like that will absorb between 20 up to 200 gallons of water per day. That's an amazing amount of water to be healthy and fruitful. That's the picture that God wants us to have of our absorption of his word. We can either be like that vibrant and fruitful tree, or we can be like the chaff of grain that is devoid of nutritional value. It's of no value and it's just blown away by the wind. These two very different outcomes reflect a person standing before God based upon their response to God's revealed truth. The wicked will not stand in judgment. They will be driven away. But the person who has responded to God's word in faith has absorbed it like a, a tree absorbing water is a blessed person who will bear fruit and their life will be a blessing to God and they will stand before God for all of eternity. Be like that kind of person. Be in God's word daily and absorb it. Have a blessed day.